Cheers. Calling all the monsters. <laughs> yeah, 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 if y'all know, y'all know. Mm. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Cine Eats. Today we have some Stark's hot chicken. You have the combo number three with the sandwich and the tender, both flavored hot. Sloppy Cheeto fries with the comeback sauce and house ranch. All right, guys, eee, there's a lot to talk about, but before we do that, y'all know, y'all know, we're gonna dive in, all right? First, wait, 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 let me, let me show you guys the, the hot Cheeto fries. It's, it's crazy. Let me tell you, I, I felt something, I, it's like falling in love. Oh my God, look at that. Dios mio. Oh my God. This is some like, some middle school like dinner type, you know. <laughs> so this is, a, this is like some middle school lunch right here, type lunch. They gave me two forks. They thought I was gonna eat with somebody else. Damn, I'm fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, but guys. Oh my god. The bike rider. All right. We're going to eat. We're going to eat They got their I got their like house sauce like it's called the comeback sauce and then the The ranch you gotta get you gotta hit with the ranch All right, I think we're gonna try I want to try the the sandwich first. Let me see how that is real quick Sort of it looks like right here. Oh Damn all right, all right, all right, I see, I see you. See what you're cooking with. I see it. There, I was gonna get extreme hot, but I will see it out, guys. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, all right, first I'm gonna try it without the sauce and then with the sauce, all right. Cheers. Mmm. -mm. That's good. Alright. It's dip time. Skinny dip. I mean, it's dipping time. I have no idea why that came into my head. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, guys. I do try to be PG in here. Alright. Mmm. What? Wow, guys, that is phenomenal. Try some of the tater tots. Mmm. I got your little pepper, pepper. Not yet though, not yet though. The Bike Riders, directed and written by Jeff Nichols is a gritty drama that follows a motorcycle's club's rise to prominence, exploring the bonds of brotherhood and the allure of the open road. As the club navigates internal conflicts and external threats, the narrative delves into themes of loyalty, identity, and freedom, ultimately revealing the harsh realities of their outlaw lifestyle. Right off the bat, the bike riders, the cast, holy damn. The cast is phenomenal and it's stacked. We got... We got Austin Butler, we got Jodie Comer, we got Tom Hardy, Michael Shannon, Norman Reedus. And it is one of the key components of why this movie works. Look at that. Mmm. Okay. Alright. Let me get the ranch in real quick. Guys. The cast is crazy. They all, they were all able to shine, you know? They were all able to shine and like, this movie kind of brings back the nostalgia of like the 1960s and 1970s like, bike rider kind of movies, you know? Like motorcycles, the suave like personalities and just like the, the rebel, you know? Especially Austin Butler's character. His character is very reminiscent of like Marlon Brando 
He's got that like mysterious complex going, you know, like doesn't care about life. He's just going through it, having fun, living in the moment. Until some hardships come up, you know, and including when he meets this this woman, uh, played by Jodie Comer, Kathy, who, by the way, is such an underrated actress. I don't think she gets enough credit. I don't think she does. She kills in every role she she gets, including the last duel. The last duel was. I could talk about the movie all day, The Last Duel, but she, she manages to create enthralling type characters where you're, you're just so fascinated. You're so, it's one of those roles, every time she's on screen, she steals it from anybody. She steals it and commands the screen. And she did, did exactly this because uh, this movie is kind of centered around her really. Because it's about her, Recounting like reminiscing the times of the motorcycle club that took over that town, you know in the Midwest and Played by Mike Faist who by the way. Yeah from challengers. He's so good He plays like the photographer which is based on the on a, on a book This guy took photos of the motorcycle club and he was with them for a while I Interviewed them took pictures and those pictures are badass by the way. They are so cool like he was able to get some really good shots and the movie was able to like bounce off from that. I can tell like trying to honor him, trying to honor the photos. So it was kind of cool seeing the recreation and then at the end of it, it was like they showed the real photos. That was really cool. And Enormous Reed is, he has like a small character, but he's so good. He needs to be in more movies. Like I know we all love him as like Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead, but we need to cast him more and more in things, you know? He's really good. He's like unrecognizable, which was the point. I know that was a, that was probably the point for him, you know? So. Now, of course, we got Tom Hardy, who... Enough said, Tom Hardy. He's always playing these like intense roles. You know what kind of intensity he's gonna bring to the role. But you love it every time, you love it every time. And when it was with when it was him and Austin Butler sharing the screen, they they chewed up the scenery. You can just tell that they were just having fun, playing, and just ultimately doing what they do best. I love seeing those kinds of performances where you're just like, that actor got to do everything they wanted to do. I can tell. I can tell because they're so in it. And that was exactly that. Like that was that was what I saw from everybody in the cast. They were all able to be loose with their characters and create their own. And these are real life people, you know, like, I don't know how close they were to like the actual like counterpart, but nonetheless, like it made it for an interesting character study. But I will dive into the negatives in a bit. Cause your boy's hungry, I'm gonna dive in, hold up. Comeback sauce. Oh, that was a kind of a lot. <laughs> All right. mm. Guys, wow, that's crazy. This is really good. Um... All right. And this is nearby my place too, Starks. It was like a five minute drive. It was right there. Mm. Puro agua, agua, H2O. I'm a little sunburned right now on my nose, just on my nose. Not anywhere else, not on my face, just my, my nose. I don't know if you can notice. It makes a nice, looks like blush. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like blush though. But how are you guys doing by the way? How are you guys doing? Hope you all are having a good day. Like always. Thank you for joining me. Oh we gotta try out the fries. We gotta try out the fries. I can't believe I forgot. Can't believe I forgot that. Oh I have no idea if I'm gonna finish this guys. Oh this is a monster. Calling all the monsters. <laughs> yeah, 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 if y'all know, y'all know. Calling all the monsters. Mm. 
Okay. Wasn't expecting that flavor. Mmm. It's like kind of sweet. No. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just gonna be a little ham on this. Hold up. Mm. Mm. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta try with this bread. All right. Mmm. Right, now, I'll dip it with the ranch. Mmm. Ooh, this was needed. Mmm. Okay, now let's talk about the story. Okay. Even though I think it's a solid film overall, it's a solid film. It's good. It has a few problems. I think the first act was probably the best act of, of all. Second was good, but the third one is where it kind of uh, deteriorates a bit. There was certain there was a certain pace, and the third act just kind of kills it. The last act feels a bit rushed. You know, it's a, it kind of it's a little underwhelming. I would have loved that they explored more of the characters. You know, more of the more members of the biker gang, or just diving into their personal life more and why. Why are they in it? Why why do they love the why why is that family to them? You know? Cuz you only get like snippets. But uh, all uh, but they're kind of just put to the side, you know? Cuz obviously the main characters are like Jody Comer, Tom Hardy, and Austin, but I just I think it would have made such a stronger film and it would have been more I'd have been more attached to the characters if we had seen more of them, you know? And you also got a great cast that I feel like they have that you want to see that range you want to see those three-dimensional characters and there are times where I feel like the movie was lost on what it wanted to be because there's times where I felt like a documentary you wanted to go to that route but then it wanted to be this cool thriller like entertaining like flick action almost like an action flick you know and so you have those two kinds of uh, like styles like fighting each other and I think that's what contributed to the last act. Because it was trying to wrap up things really quickly. And we're jumping timelines and it was like, oh, what? Like, we're already here? Like, we uh, give me time to process what just happened, you know? And the, yeah, I think that would have made such a stronger film. Despite some, like, some pacing issues and some, like, under character development, like, I think it's still a good film. It's solid and I think y'all should watch it. It kind of, of course, I mean, when a... It made me want to ride a motorcycle for sure, you know? <laughs> if I had seen this movie as a kid, I think I would have loved it. Loved it. And I think it would have been... I definitely would have wanted a motorcycle. I think I would have been bugging my mom to get <laughs> to give me one, you know? It's still good though, despite, despite of its issues. Mm. Mm. Wow, unbelievable, guys. Mm. Wow, it's pretty hot. It's kind of creeping up on me. It always does that. I'm like, eh. This ain't nothing, you know? 
I'm like, light work, light work. But, creeps up on you a little bit. And I was gonna get extreme hot. I was gonna get extreme hot. But, I didn't want my stomach to hurt. I will try it next time though, next time. I know it would've been entertaining for y'all to see me like, go through it, you know? <laughs> but, I gotta hit the fries real bit, real quick. With the hot Cheetos, this is so middle school. It reminds me of that, you know, going to 7-Eleven, getting a, like a bag of hot Cheetos, opening it up, putting in the nacho cheese. Hell yeah, with their buddies, like hell yeah, you know? <laughs> it was like right after school. It was either lunch or after school. And then see what kind of crap you're gonna get into that <laughs> to, to the afternoon, you know? To see what kind of trouble you're gonna get into with your friends, you know? Mmm. Mmm. Does that have chicken? Oh, it does. It does. Wow. Mm. Oh, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Man, there's a lot of traffic. So, you know, hot take, hot take. I'm not a huge fan of Terror Tots. I don't know. I don't know why. I just like, I, it always seem kind of boring to me. <laughs> that makes sense, you know? Like, eh. I don't know. I just prefer french fries or waffle fries. But Terror Tots, I never got the hype over that. I'll eat it. Although right now, I'm not gonna... I gotta pay attention to it, low-key, you know? Ah! Hmm. Random guys, sorry. Random. You like that? <laughs> That's a lot of ranch, jeez. <laughs> oh. 
Guys will be mad. I think I'm done. Ah, oh, I'm full. Oh. that's crazy. It's crazy out here. Oh, I'm ah. Uh. It's over. It's over. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> oh no. But. Yes, guys, go check out the bike riders. It's 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 entertaining. It's it's a thrill for sure. All right, I think it's thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Love y'all. Peace.